Hello and welcome back to Castle No. Right, as you can see, we are continuing on from where we left off in the last episode, uh, as we have continued to do with this series in particular, because there's always so much going on. Uh, it is still raining, so I am taking a bit of a chance here, uh, applying the lime to the fields. Maybe it'll wash away in the rain, but let's hope it doesn't. Uh, very quickly, we will move on from this field to the other field that we harvested the sorghum in. Here, we'll just get that menu up so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Because uh, we do want to get a uh, field, I believe it's 48. This is 90. Uh, so the one that we harvested the sorghum is field 48. And we also need to get that one limed up as well uh, so that we can drill our alfalfa in there. Because as I've said, this half of the map uh, will be more focused on silage, hay, that sort of thing, whereas the other side of the map will be more of our arable sort of crops, and uh, we will have more focus on uh, drilling and, and all that on that side uh, of the field. Uh, sorry, of the map, because it, it is a substantial size map, and uh, eventually we will get more uh, multiples of certain bits of kit including I think primarily will be a lime spreader because we will still have to spread lime to hit the right pH levels for our grass and alfalfa fields not just for our arable crop so I'll make sure that we get all this yellow area covered there's a bit there on the right hand side which I will forego because it is a small amount it should be absolutely fine so what we'll do is, and yes I know this probably isn't the best thing to do in the rain, uh, but here we are, liming in the rain. It has to get done, so now's the best time, because now is when we're doing it. <laughs> Anyways, it seems as though uh, we might actually have to pick up some more lime sooner than later, so luckily we have our handy trailer there attached to our pickup, uh, so we might have to go and collect some more. But before we do, I will just finish up what we have. We do have one more bag of lime on the actual uh, trailer as well. So we'll, we'll attach to that, or rather get it put into the trailer. Happy days, look at that. Field 90 is all set. Ah, no, we have no nitrogen at all. Terrible nitrogen levels. So we will have to fertilize, but my plan is to fertilize with some of the slurry or uh, manure that we have uh, at the farm. So that is going to be my plan of attack. But before we do that, let's get the lime in here that we can. Just get nice and close here, get it loaded in. Ooh, hello. Didn't mean to damage the lorry, the little truck. It's not really a lorry, is it? More of a motor. Right, so we'll use as much as we can in this other field. Um, what I might do is I... Ah, I have an idea. I think I'm going to, before I actually start the liming process, which... Right, I really have to get this out of the field. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'll remove the harvester from the field. And... Yes, let's get to... Yeah, just shut that off for now. Let's find the pickup. Because what I'll do is I'll send a helper off to the shop so that we can sort of get as much done as we can in the short amount of time that we have, which is to say every episode always seems to be a lack of, of time. Uh, but here, what we'll do is we'll set this up here. Now, these bags of fertilizer, maybe I can fix that up at the shop. I'll get them into the, the front and to consolidate them there so that we have more room for lime. Actually, no, it's a terrible idea. Right. I'm all over the place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the... Why do I have this lime? Or this uh, fertilizer? Ah, right. It's for the drill because we're going to need it. Okay, what I'm going to do is, for the time being, I will bring this back to the farm drop off the fertilizer, set the helper off to the shop, uh, buy some lime, get it loaded into here because I know we'll need more than just a couple of bags. I might as well get as many as we can fit uh, onto this little setup which has been very good. It works really, really well by the way. We'll do that. We'll get the harvester out of the field, sorted out. 
and uh, then we'll start liming that field. So I'll get this all set up and we'll see you back in the field. Alright, so we had to kind of uh, make our way here on our own. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the auto drive uh, isn't perfect by any means, but we did manage to make it here. They were trying to just take a very very scenic route, and I was having none of it. So I think that we can fit. I want to uh, say three in the back of the actual pickup, and another three in there. So let's go for six bags. I know that's maybe unnecessary. We we don't need all six straight away, but. It's very inexpensive anyways, and yeah, might as well get it done, if we can, as quickly as possible. Brilliant. So, uh, what I'll do is I will uh, load it off camera, uh, just be a bit quicker that way, as again, we have so much to do. So I will get it loaded up, and we'll see you back in the field. Alright, well as you can see, the John Deere is here now, because the... Uh, Again, the pickup was having a few issues finding its way back, uh, but no matter, we have finally made it back. Now, the John Deere is here to help with the drilling of the alfalfa, but before we can do that, uh, we do have to lime, of course, which is what we're doing right now. So I will get this topped up. While we're getting this done, because what is going on? What a slippery, slippery little trailer. I hope it's taking the the funny one here and it's yes okay that's fine I suppose we should should get this out the field now so it doesn't flip and flop everywhere we have have kind of uh, taken over this um, this lot here but that's fine we are parking so we'll do that before we do anything more here I do want to get another helper on the way and that's to say we'll get the Massey not with the trailer but rather with the roller which I believe yes it is still here that's brilliant we have to get field 71 which is where we drilled in I want to say wheat for the chickens uh, we do have to get that field rolled and then of course once the alfalfa is uh, drilled we'll have to get that rolled as well so let us get this position somehow sort of normal that's a good turning radius I do really enjoy a Massey. Oh, and I've missed that road. Right, so I reckon that, uh, yeah, I'll get this set up then to make its way to field... what did I just say? 71. Oh, I've taken... right, it's still a maze. I'm still getting used to... I should, could have just went the other way. Uh, still getting used to all these, uh, all these uh, windy roads and such. Right, so the best course of action here, we'll set it up like this, because it's going to take this route here, and uh, it should work out fine. So we need to go to, let's open that, go here, and 71, and off you go. Right, so I find that this particular map, well, this particular playthrough, it seems so far to be very... Uh, a lot of farm management, which I actually quite enjoy, to be honest. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, again, it, it is a lot of uh, back and forth. That Maybe had we started without any of our own equipment and, and all that, it would have been a bit of a different story. But here we are, doing exactly this. So I'm really enjoying it for that, for that reason as well. Uh, I do enjoy the farm management aspect. It gives uh, a bit more to it, you know. Not that I'm not going to do the farm work itself, as you can see I am doing the liming as we speak, uh, but some of it's just a bit um, easier to do. So I reckon the, the, major, the majority of the driving will be done thanks to AI helpers and auto drive. Thank goodness for that. And it being in beta, it's a fantastic auto drive course. It's very well done. Uh, there are a bit of hiccups here and there, but I think that's part and parcel to do with the fact that the map itself features many twisty windy uh, roads which is absolutely fine it is still a stunning map right we are going through all of our initial fields will really require a lot of uh, work with the ph and nitrogen um, well specifically the ph the first time i find because the lime tends to go quite quickly anyways but once we get this first sort of application of lime on to balance out the pH it's not that bad the uh, the next few times round so 
As long as we're on top of it, it should be absolutely fine. Right, so what I'm going to do is I will crack on with a time lapse. Once I uh, get the notification that the Massey has arrived at the field, I'll stick it on uh, a helper there as well to get the rolling completed of Field 71. And that will allow us to continue on with this. We'll get the John Deere in the field doing the Alpha Alpha and get the Massey down to roll this as well. Happy days, we have a plan. Now I know it's still raining, which is frustrating because I thought it was supposed to be done at 1. Is it not done at 1? Hmm. Well, I suppose, well, it's 1 now. It's well past 1 actually, and it's still raining, so I guess not. Let's have a very quick check before we crack on. Hmm, 2 o'clock. Must have misread. Let's see, where is the Massey? Is it near? Where is the Massey? Ah, oh, there it is. So it's going to go up here and around, and it'll arrive very soon. So I will probably include that in the time lapse of the liming. Uh, but enough rambling, let's crack on with it. this last little section here and then we are done liming and good forex we have 29% left in the uh, in the spreader there so that is perfect what i'll do now is well I'll get this thing folded up we'll get this opened up as you can see as well it's a bit cloudy now but the rain has ceased which is brilliant timing so i have reduced the time down to times three just prefer it that way uh, we will get the last of this filled into here might as well get it off the off the back of the pickup and with that we can now start the drilling uh, of the alfalfa so again I will be a bit cheeky and just tuck this off the road I know there's no traffic so it's fine but just better that way let's have a look at the Massey and see how it's getting on I'm not too worried about it, though. It should be pretty s simple task. What? Okay, good. It's like, wait a minute, what field are you doing? But yes, happy days there. We'll get into the John Deere here. We'll get that switched over to Alfalfa. Nope. Oh, maybe that was Alfalfa. Oh, I've missed it again. Right, I will confirm... I bet it 100% is, isn't it? Right, many things. Alpha, alpha, perfect. Okay, so we'll start at some sort of point. Uh, we do have that fertilizer over at the other farm, so what we might do is... We'll do, well, first we'll do a headland. We'll start with that. We'll get a headland done, and then I will probably head back to the farm and collect the... Here, we'll start right on this corner. We'll head back to the farm and collect the fertilizer that I did drop off. I should have left it here because I know it would be coming back here with the, the drill. But yes, I will get it uh, brought in here. Ooh, actually, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Should we... No, we'll wait. I was going to say, should we... No, we'll wait. We'll drill first. Yes, we have to drill first. and Because we do have fertilizer in here, but we can do our grass fields with slurry and manure so we are all set uh, first things first oh you know what though we're not all set I need one quick thing first before we're all set and that's a sensor so I will just quickly detach from that so what I'll do is I'll put the sensor on the John Deere and then we can start drilling alright we are all set now we've got the sensor on we've got it unfolded we've got the drill lowered down I said we've got the drill. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and we're off. Drilling alfalfa. Fantastic. So as we drill, it will also add the stage of nitrogen that we need from the fertilizer. So I'll do a headland. 
because that makes sense to do that first. And then maybe two passes, it's hard to tell. Um, one should be suffice, I think, if we do a headland. Maybe two, we'll see, we'll see how far we get. But then what I'd like to do is look at removing the roller from the Massey, putting the mowers on, and hopping into the cow pasture so that we can take advantage of some of the grass that's in there so we can get some silage made because as it stands we don't have any and that's no that's not good at all uh, we do need to get we have hay we're feeding the cows but we really really need to get uh, some silage made right I really don't want to miss any bits because this is a crop that can regrow so if we get it all in the, in the right way first time then we don't have to faff about later on. These trees make it a bit difficult, but I think we'll manage. Right, we'll lower that down. Enough faffing and rambling from me. Let's crack on with the drilling. Alright, so we're already out of fertilizer. I should have known that was going to happen. I wasn't really paying attention to it, but the reason is because we have perfect levels of nitrogen. Happy days. Right, oh, you know what we should have done? We should have mulched. We should have mulched first, then it would have been perfect, but that's fine. If we do have a new crop, maybe we'll redraw. Who knows? It doesn't matter. We'll go, <laughs> we'll go back to the farm. Let's find the pickup here. Let's go back to the farm and collect our fertilizer, and then we'll be right back, and we'll carry on with the time lapse. <music> Alright, as you can see, I have uh, decided to let a helper off. I was going to do uh, another uh, headland here, but I got stuck on some rocks and I was just like, no, I'm not having it. So, <laughs> we've got the seed in, we've got the uh, fertilizer in, we've got it going, that's good. Now we can find the Massey, which I believe has given me the heads up that it is completed. Ooh, nearly nice effort. Right, we'll get that last bit done, but if we do look at the whole of it, then we should be fairly close. Right, so we'll get this done, and I think it's the exact same side there on this far side. Uh, we'll bring the, might as well bring the roller straight down to that field, because we'll stick it on possibly the fence. Uh, but that remains to be seen. Possibly the fence, though. Most likely. Uh, and luckily we can do the rolling without needing uh, any sort of fancy sensors or anything. As I've said before, I do have full intentions of equipping my most used tractors with uh, built-in Isaria sensors. Now, possibly, or I'll just keep the one that's on the front of the John Deere as is, um, because that one will be our drilling tractor, no questions, because it's perfect. Perfect little setup. It's a bit slow, but you don't need it to be fast if it's drilling, right? So I might put sensor on that, but I might just keep the, the sensor that is on uh, as is. I think it would be more important to have... Wh whatever, we'll figure that out when that time comes, because I reckon as it stands, we don't really need buy a sensor for another tractor until we know exactly which ones we want to fully equip with a built-in sensor. Anyways, enough about sensors. I'm going to bring this to the field, drop it off, and then we'll get started mowing in the cow pasture. Alright, well as you can see, we are not uh, at the cow pasture, but rather we are at the farm again, and I'm going to connect to... let's do slurry. Let's give it a go. Well, Hang on a minute. I want to spread some sort of something. So that holds 9,000 and this holds 8.2. But which one goes quicker? I suppose we'll find out. Uh, let's do slurry. Just because we're connected to it already. Well, now we are. Um, yeah, this should be fine. We don't need a weight on the front. Now, where, oh where? Oh, probably this big massive circular pit. That's probably where the slurry is. So. Ah, have I just realized that I need a bloody sensor? Okay, I think I'll put one on this tractor. I think because this tractor I don't really plan on replacing. Um, all right, we're all set. 
So what I'm going to do is... Ooh, do we have a workshop? Yes, we do. Get in. Right, so we'll go into the workshop here and we'll purchase a sensor for this tractor because this will probably be the tractor that does our liming and all that on this side of the uh, of the map as well. Can't really get in there, but we should be able to. Oh, wait, is there not... Hello? Oh, no. Now, where or oh, where is the thingy. What? Oh, what eggs go in here? That's good to know. Uh, oh, where is... Hmm. Oh, can't get out. There we go. Oh, right, it's in here, isn't it? Yes. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Cheeky monkey trying to escape here. We'll give it a cheeky repair. Customize. Let's get that Isaria Pro. It is £15,000, but we need it. We need it done. So, just as I was on about not sure which tractors to do, well, this was a perfect opportunity to uh, actually get one set up. So, right, we'll head to the farm, or to the other field, sorry, field 90, and uh, we'll get it spread with some slurry. Oh my, I'm not too certain what the help is doing there, but I suppose they're doing something so we'll just leave them to it yeah I have too much on at the moment because I still want to get into the cow pasture at some point and get some slurry uh, sorry some silage started before we actually uh, move on into October allowing it to ferment over the month so we do have to still turn on the sensor yeah okay right no indication as to whether it's on or not but that's fine we are gonna still oh, wow that's quite a spread go on right we are applying some sort of fertilizer to our grass which is absolutely brilliant. I suppose we should have done manure, eh? Well, that doesn't matter. We'll still have loads of manure and loads of sl uh, slurry and all that to spread. I suppose we could... Ah, oh, you know what? I should have used manure because we uh, we can probably sell our slurry and get digestate from it, which is probably the best course of action. Something I haven't really done uh, you know what? I don't think I've ever used Digestate in Farming Simulator. Now, uh, I'm just think saying it out loud. I don't think I ever have. I think I've always used the slurry directly. But I think this might be a good opportunity if we own the proper area in which we can sell it. Because I know you usually have to buy the BGA, which is probably why I haven't done it. So we'll just stop there. Let's get reversed out of this little nook. It is grass, so it's not like we'd be have to go in there with a combine or anything, and it's not too bad going in there with the mowers, but still a bit. Right, very quickly, have a look at the area in which we own things. Right, nothing is showing that we... Oh, right, we still have to. Needs rolling. You having a laugh? Ugh, oh, okay, well, we have to go... Oh, right, well... Oh my gosh, what is happening? Absolute madness, you see, everything is just happening at once. Right, we uh, we don't own the BJ, I don't even know where it is, to be honest with you. Uh, that's not it there. Very well could be there. Sawmill. Oh my. Right, I reckon for now we'll just carry on using the slurry. Uh, we can sell it in the future. Um, the next time we have to do some sort of grass for, uh, fertilizing, I will use uh, manure. For the rest of this field, I'll just use slurry since we've already started with slurry. Might as well use slurry again. So we're just about done. So I'll finish this, head back to the farm, get some more slurry, come back here, finish this, and then we can move on. Right, well, I thought I would check on the status of the nitrogen before we left back to the farm. And as you can see, it's still showing bad where it's been slurried. It's only added. 50, 65-ish uh, kilograms of nitrogen per hectare, which is frustrating. Why? Why is that? Does that mean I have to come back over it again to maximise? This was an issue I was having on barley spring as well, where I thought, oh well, look at all of this green fertilizer I have that I can use for the uh, for the fields, and I did, and it didn't really work. Where is the helper? 
Where? What? Where's it gone? What are you doing up there? What are you doing in the trees, mate? Oh my goodness. Right, we'll get recovery unit out here. We'll get that sorted. I don't even bloody know how that's happened. <laughs> that's mental. I should have done... Do you see this? It's exactly the width of another headland. So that is 100% my fault. Right, we'll get this sorted. Uh, I might as well finish slurrying the field because we might be able to add another level of fertilizer on top. Then we can worry about uh, getting the grass cut in the cow pasture. So we'll get this sorted. See you in a minute. All right, we've got this last little bit here of the field done. I reckon I'll just do the rest off camera, most of it off camera. But now we are done. So turn the sensor off. Uh, honestly, it must be, it must be that either you have to do it multiple times or that it simply helps to reduce the amount of solid fertilizer you use, not replace it as a fertilizer, which I'll be honest is quite frustrating. Because, um, you know, it would be fantastic to be able to use just green fertilizer on your fields. So that would be amazing, but unfortunately not the case. Right, so what we'll do is we'll head back here to the farm and we'll see what happens with that. I mean, we can always sort it out with some solid fertilizer later on. Uh, again, it will reduce the amount, which is still good. But, of course, it would be nice to get the full amount taken care of with our manure or slurry which we which means we might actually end up just selling the slurry and using the digestate and making it at least making some money from it so right we'll get this tucked away we'll get hooked up to the mower setup and we'll see you in the pasture all right so here is the entrance to the pasture now i reckon there are a few entrances I believe there is one on the far side there which is where we're gonna start actually because if we look at this particular here I'm just gonna close the gate it, oh, I think maybe it's over here there we go uh, if we look at the map we can see that I don't own anything just to this side Ah, right, so the fence. Perfect. Well, that helps lay it out very nicely. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll head all the way down to the end there, and that's where we'll start. Let me just quickly have a look at their food. Blimey, that's kind of what I was expecting. What I'm going to do then... Aha! Perfect opportunity to do that. Okay, first things first, let's take this all the way down to the far side. While... So what... Okay, we'll take this path, because there is a nice little path we can take. Hello cows, our first time in here. I will bring the telehandler through here and because as I've said before there are a handful of bales scattered about. Look at that, there's two over here as well and it's all hay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all set up first thing. So that means we'll, we'll get it unfolded, we'll get the front mower done as well and um, yes we don't need to worry about anything else I don't think. But I will get all set up. Now, the reason I'm going to do this like this is... Oh my gosh, they're already running. My plan my plan is to... Right, let's leave that there. Get into the... Here we are, the Manitou. My plan is to go and get some of those hay bales and put a couple into the trough for them so that they come running to eat. That way they'll at least be somewhat out of the way of the well of the mower really now how are the sheep doing I should probably check them as well oh yeah they're, they're gonna be fine for some time it's just we've been dealing with a load of heifers and uh, they are very hungry all the time so we'll start with just that first nearest bale and uh, we'll put it into the spot here I think they're fine for straw I didn't quite see it but I'm sure they're fine for straw as well and uh, then we can get them fed at the very least. I like that the gate needs to be opened from that side there. I will, um, you know what? Oh, there's already a couple running in. I'll probably leave the Manny 2 in, in here anyways, because we might need a couple more hay bales for them. Oh my goodness, they're all running already. I think a lot of them will, will make their way this way. I'm just going to start with this one, because... Now, I thought... I thought that maybe them being in here would mean they've already got food in, but 
perhaps perhaps that's not the case. Can that not be? Can I not get that out? Oh no. Let me just try something a bit cheeky. Hmm. Strange. Let's see if I can pick it up now. Is that not a real bale or something? Is it just a prop? Well, it might actually be. No. Is that possible? Right, I'm going to try and feed it to them just by hand very quickly and see what it does. Right, well, as you can see, it did not work, and I have put it back because it is uh, a decoration only, which is fine because it actually does add a bit of realism to that as well. So those will disappear, and that should disappear as well. There we are. Brilliant. Okay. So now they have some food, but the problem I'm seeing is that we have very little in the way of hay. Now it's problematic. Do we have... Do we have... Animals, animals, animals. Where is... Maybe we don't. That's why we don't. Right, so we do need some sort of food mixer as well if we're going to give them TMR. Right, so we don't have any of these, but we do need one. These are all for straw. We, I suppose we could invest in a small one, but it would be very, very small. Anything in the sale? Oh, that's pretty cool. But yeah, not for this particular playthrough. Um, right, I suppose that is a bit frustrating. Maybe what we should do then is... Oh, right, we should tend to this. What is going on here? Right, let me just get uh, this bit cleaned up. We'll get the helper set off once again. I know it's not ideal. Somebody did mention in a comment as well about using course play, and that's definitely an option. But I don't know. I mean, yes, it is a bit a bit of a faff in this respect. But I think once we get sort of going, we won't be necessary. The auto drive is ample uh, for us, but we will see. We'll see what happens. As long as I can get this alfalfa nicely drilled, this will probably be our next uh, crop for silage. Now. We have the grass there on the other side. I reckon we really need some more hay and silage. So the pasture currently, I think we might have to do as hay, to be honest. Because what opportunity will we have to do hay beyond now? Right? I mean, it's September. This is this is already pushing it for hay in, uh, in a reality sort of sense, in a realism sense, I suppose. Right, we'll just set him off there so we can actually focus on getting some grass cut. So we'll lower everything down. We might as well just start start cutting, make sure that we actually can cut this grass. We can do. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, it's not going to be very good quality or anything. Oh my god. That cow, right. Go eat some food, mate. Please. Uh, right, so I don't know how far we can actually go here. I suppose just go till we can't anymore. Oh, right, we do own all of this. Right, it's the next bit that we don't own. So, maybe we can do part of his hay and part of it as uh, silage, because we really do need both. Now, we do have our alfalfa crop that we're currently growing. I'm going the wrong way. I should be going the other way, but that's fine. Uh, we do have the other alfalfa crop that we are currently drilling. <coughs> Pardon me. But we also have... A nearby alfalfa crop right here not quite ready yet but it'll be ready in the next month and I reckon let's have a quick look here at our grass our grass field is gonna be ready same time so we might we might be able to push out some uh, I'm not too certain what to do really I mean this area is not great for... It is ready to harvest, but look how sparse it is. Do you know what I mean? <coughs> Let's do hay. We'll do hay with this area. Oh, now you're awake. Hello. Curious cow. Um, yeah, we'll do this whole area as hay. I'll do this first area f first. <laughs> I'll get this area done first, rather. And, uh, and we'll do it all as hay, because then we can focus on the silage with the alfalfa and then the grass as well, because we do have two pits. 
and uh, that one alpha alpha crop won't be very big, the near one, but that's fine. And as I said, if we miss bits here, it's fine. It's all going to grow back in the same sort of state as it currently is, but at least it will be harvested and we'll take advantage of it a little bit. Um, and it should be fine to, to grow back as it were. So I am going to switch around and go the other way because I, do, I don't like missing bits if I don't have to. Uh, so yeah, we'll crack on with this. I will... I should really check on the helper though. So I'll, yeah, I'll put all of it into a cheeky little time lapse. But first things first, let's get this field sorted. Right, well, okay, we've done the majority of this area. Well, we've done this whole area. Let's have a look at the map, though, because I reckon that's a relatively decent chunk. Where are we? Got to get off this. There we go. Get rid of the grass, and here we are. So this area has been cut, as you can see. It's not perfect, but this area is much bigger as well. Now, if we compare that size of area to 90... Yeah, I think we should do the whole thing in hay. The reason I say do it in hay is because we are not using Maze Plus, which means we don't have a separate category for silage. If we did, I would consider doing I would consider doing silage instead first, because then we could feed them that and at least they'd be more productive with it. But the hay is ample productive uh, for them. So we will do this area as well, but I'll probably do the majority of it off camera as we did just do a lot of mowing just then because we also have to uh, ted now that we're doing hay row and bale and my plan is to get it all done before the end of september which is a great ask so it will probably be mostly in a bit of a jump cut montage not necessarily a full-on time lapse or even in real time where is right so had it done a headland it would have been a lot better but you know what crack on with it son crack on with it and that's what we'll do exactly. So we'll carry on with this mowing. And the next time we see you, this whole area will be nicely mowed. Alright, well as you can see we are into the pen once again, but this time with the windrower, not the tedder, because I have decided that I will initiate some follow me to allow us to get silage instead. I reckon if we do hay, it would be best to do in October. I did check the forecast, there'll be more sun than there is now, because there is none, and it's late at night, it'll be dark soon. So yeah, the best opportunity is to do some silage actually. Uh, this will be the only time that we do cut and work in this pasture, but we just really need something done. So I will, I think if we, just I don't know how follow me works with it I might have to initiate the baler first but here let's get this opened let's see if do if I lower down will it lower down as well no right so I think I actually have to I have to do all of that myself first so will okay so that's active now oh right so that's going let's do control F brilliant uh, can we bring it closer in? Okay, is that... Yeah, that should be good. And let's give it a go and see how it goes. I have put times at times one because we have to get this done and we have rolling to get done. Oh, blimey, we should turn it on. Hang on, mate, hang on. Right, there we go. Now this should... 
should work. It won't be perfect, um, and I might miss some bits, but let's just see. Is it working, though? Oh, yeah. All right. Right, so we need to make very, very subtle turns, and uh, <laughs> I think it should work fine. Can we... Okay, I'll put my lights on at least. Right, I'm going to put this into a bit of a time lapse. We'll see how it goes. I will try and be, again, as uh, non... Uh, I don't really know. I've used, I've used Follow Me before, but I feel like we're going to be missing loads of bits. So I will try my best to do it as nicely as possible. And I reckon it's going to fill up rather quickly as well, because it is a fairly small loading wagon. Uh, but we'll just see how it goes. Oh, no. I've given it a quite a uh, a path to follow but we will crack on with it and uh, see how it turns out all right so the follower has stopped and I assume that's because it's full up it is. Right, so, that wasn't terrible. Um, it wasn't great. I mean, we did quite a bit, and this is a very small loading wagon as well. So I reckon we'll just crack on doing this. Um, I might carry on in a bit of a time lapse as well, uh, but I reckon it's possible I'll do most of this, not necessarily off camera, I'll try and get a bit of it on camera, but it's just, it's... I don't know. It does. It doesn't make for a great time lapse because I'm I'm often going looking behind, moving around. The camera's just always in motion, and uh, it, it is just a bit uh, a bit mental at times. Look at these pits as well. They are absolutely, absolutely massive. Like there's no way that I'll be able to fill one of these up. Well, not yet at least. But all right, we'll get to get as much of this emptied as we can. Uh, like I say, I will try and do some sort of time lapse, some sort of jump cut, montage, something like that. Because we do have lots on still to do before the end of September. Uh, very quickly, as I set this helper up again, I'll run through what those things are. We are going to get the pit uh, filled, or at least get the grass emptied out of this area. I reckon we'll probably have to fill this up about five, at least six, seven times. Because we still have that whole area over there as well. Uh, this is just going to be absolutely mental. And I will touch up any bits that I can off camera as well. Because uh, there will be a fair few amount of those. But we will probably run at one time, so real time, until the end of the month. Because we also have to, we should probably do this very quickly, check on the Fent R. Ah. Right, okay, well, here, I'll try and stick this onto that side, get the helper to do as much as they can. Uh, once that is done, then I will do my absolute best to ensure that, um, well, that it gets done. Because we do have to ensure that it's all rolled nicely before we move on. So, here, we'll just get this helper set up. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be there, beautiful. And we'll go back in. The Valtra. I am enjoying it, actually. It's very nice. It, it, it works very well. I like the Valtra. It's, uh, I've never really used Valtra. Oh, hello, cow. Uh, they're very curious, the cows are. Right. Let's, uh, let's crack on as best as we can. Oh, I suppose that helps to initiate Follow Me once again. Right. We'll crack on with it as best as we can and uh, see how far we get. Alright, here is load number two into the pit. A uh, very minuscule amount into the pit, but to be honest, I mean, between these two loads, we're already at 32,000 litres of silage, which is 32,000 litres more than we had when we started, so that is good. Uh, as I said, with the hay, we'll get uh, alfalfa hay, we'll get some grass hay, uh, tons of different options there, but just for this first time, really do need to uh, get some silage going so we'll unload this and we'll crack on with it
Alright, well here's a little update. We have made it uh, into the smaller area of the pasture now, uh, and this is load number three, so it's actually going quite well. Now there are going to be some missed bits, but I will try and go through both areas, uh, both sides of the bridge, to ensure that we get as much of this uh, green gold <laughs> as we can, and uh, yeah, get as much silage out of it as possible. So we'll get this unloaded, and we'll crack on again. Alright, well here we are, exiting the pasture for the last time with the loading wagon. Thank goodness for that. It has been quite a venture to say the very least. Um, it's taken a fair amount of time, but we have we have got quite a bit of grass out of it. Now it's not it's not loads and loads, but I mean so far we're just about at 50,000 litres and uh, we will put another 14,047 in and that will at least give us a decent amount of silage to work with and now the cows will be very happy for that. Uh, the biggest reason that, I, that it's not the best area to uh, cut grass and all that is because it is just so uh, patchy and it's a it's a pasture it's not meant to be cut really but in the situation we're at currently it is uh, it is something that we really uh, had to do to benefit from it take advantage of it so to say so what I'll do is I mean now that it's cut I suppose should we should we do this now or should we wait and add more to no we should we should really get it covered up because we do have the other one the other pit that we can uh, tend to also so what I'll do is I'll crack on with this getting it all compacted down we'll get it done and then I think the last thing we have to do is finish rolling our alfalfa field and then we should be all good to move on to October so we'll get this done and then we'll see you in the alfalfa field Right, well, as you can see, we do have our small amount of chaff all ready to go, all 62,380 litres of it in the silo, all ready to blanket. So there it is, all blanketed up, the silo is covered, and if we do have a quick look at the... Right, so the helpers stop there, this is what's remaining for rolling, so I will get that done off camera, because this has been a very very action-packed episode it's actually been a very long recording as well uh, broken down into about uh, I should be just shy of 50 minutes I reckon but I guess we'll find out in post-production but it should be about that which is very long that's why these episodes tend to be about once only a week because uh, there's just so much that goes into one episode but it is spectacular this map is spectacular so before we move on to October for the next episode, I will ensure everything is ready to go, but it should just be the rolling and happy days. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and if you did enjoy the video, a cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So until the next one, please do take care, and bye for now.